Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. I should have went for a wee before I started this. <laughs> I'll be back. I piddled, I'm back. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be reviewing and showing the full IT collection. I was gonna do this separately, and I literally had full plans yesterday to film a reveal and get it up whilst I was waiting to film the review. However, yesterday I was so tired. Like it's, I'm currently filming this on Thursday, but Wednesday, oh my God, I was so tired from being in London the day before for work. I literally go to London there and back in one day, and it's just so, I love being in the office, but oh my God, it's so draining. I just mentally like go really low afterwards. So even today, I just haven't been the best, but I was like, I need to film. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm actually going to like the night that you're seeing this. I'm actually watching probably right now, um, Paul Smith, the comedian. I'm actually watching it with three of my friends. One of them obviously is my best friend, Laura, which is on, if you've watched my channel for years now. Um, but the other two are actually friends that have become friends because they were in my Patreon group. And then we realized like they literally live where I live. So now we're like, we're besties. It's so cute. Speaking of besties, what's even better is that this video is a collab. It's a collab with my best YouTube friend, makeup of Alex Kate. I, you don't know, I adore her. Like every single fibre of her, every little hair on her head, I love every single bit of her. And we both did vlog temper together. So if you haven't watched her channel yet, she literally did the same as me and did a brand new video every single day in September. So you have loads of catch up on if you don't follow her already. And the whole time that we were like doing vlog temper, there was no video that like linked up where we could have collabed together. So I was like, let's do it on it. Let's do it on it. Um, and there's a couple of things that she's missing from this collection. So once I've done my review, I'm gonna send her the bits that she's missing. But yeah, he's on my, I love her. We've got little matching friendship rings. She is the cutest little thing ever. Please go check out her channel. She literally does the same content as me. We are literally the same person. Sometimes we say the same things in reviews, even though we haven't spoke to each other about it and we haven't seen each other's video when the other person's filming, it's insane. But in this collection, we have one main palette. So this is called the You'll Float 2 palette. And this is a little bit spenny. This is $19.99. And I know some people like the packaging's a funky shape, and some people don't. And then this is the colour story. So we have some reds. We have a lot of like reds, orangey, yellows, which make a lot of sense. We also have some blues. We have a nice black, which I'm really happy that we've got a black matte one in here as well. Do you know what I feel like would have been really cool to have a really sparkling red shimmer. I feel like that would have been like amazing to have in here as well. And I know when Alex does her review, she'll be saying there's no in a corner sparkly highlight because <laughs> they're all quite like darker shades. Also in the collection is a lip stain. This is the Dripping Blood Lip Stain and this retails for $5.99. There is a sponge, which is honestly iconic. This is the It and Revolutions Balloon Blender Sponge and this is, excuse me, $5.99. And it is literally, red and shaped like a sponge. We also have this big palette. This is the Clown Artist Paint Set, which I know is one of the ones that Alex didn't pick up, so I'll definitely be sending her this. This retails for $14.99. So this is actually shaped like a balloon, but obviously it has Pennywise's head on it. And then it lifts up with a mirror. And then we have one half of the palette is face paint, and the other half of the, pow of the palette is pressed powders. Let me just get my camera to fuck it and this is what it looks like i feel like if i was going to do like a halloweeny look i would definitely go off this i just feel like what's missing though is having um maybe we could have got rid of this one because like it's a bit like a gray color which you could probably do um by using that a little bit lighter it's like a uh, red would have been really nice in here like a red paint but i am just going to focus on the other products in here i'm not going to use this because i'm not really doing like a halloweeny look i want to like do more of like a a glam look of the collection to show that you can do that. And Ben, if you're watching, I don't know if you can see that that box back there is for you. I've filled it with loads of goodies. I just need to send it this weekend. So just in case Ben's watching it. Um, just as a little thank you for her doing me a favour. But anyways, let's just get into it. So obviously we have that in the collection and then we also have a balloon fake blood. Again, I will maybe use this, but I'll use this for like a Halloween -y look. And then we also have the Aren't You Gonna Say Hello black liner, which is $4.99, and then the Beep Beep Richie red liner. They do have a full collection set, which is £50, and it's worth £61.93. So obviously that saves you 20%. It's just the same as using my code. So it's entirely up to you if you want to buy the bundle or if you want to just buy individual things. You can use my code LUCE20, L-U-C-E 20, and you'll save 20% off any full price item on the Revolution website. Obviously it won't work on the set because that's already discounted, 
but just in case you want to save some money but you only want to pick up a couple of things then obviously please do use my code I don't make any money from it it just helps to save you some moolah and today we're going to be focusing on trying the eyeshadow palette the sponge the two eyeliners hopefully and then also the lip stain as well so in true lucy and alex style i really hope she uses hers as well because it's the one that we always seem to gravitate towards this is the revolution super base primer eye primer so i'm going to pop some of this on my eyeballs so i'm going to take a game of thrones brush which just looks like this and i think i'm actually going to start with the shade red balloon is this one here i feel like with this palette you could get quite a few different looks oh that's nice and pigmented quite a few different looks out of it i should just start by putting that through my crease good you can so tell that i'm not used to putting a crease color in first because i've literally just gone so high with it but i thought i'd do it similar to alex i've noticed she always goes in with like a crease color first whereas i always go in with like my outer corner darker color but i'm clearly not used to just keeping it <laughs> in the crease because i've literally gone all over I'm hoping I can just finish that with some orange and it'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, taking a fluffier brush is just a Revolution one from, a, like, from, from a Christmas gift set. I'm actually going to go in with the shade Pennywise and I'm going to use that to blend out the red that I also already have blended out really high anyway. <laughs> so I'm basically going to use that to go over the red that I've already blended out too high. I want to know, are you a Halloween person or are you a Christmas person? I know a lot of people are both, but I'm definitely more Christmas, but I think it's because I've seen my birthday is five days before Christmas. Leave a comment down below and let me know. By the way, I know this blending is really, really bad. Just ignore it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the shade Raincoat, and then I'm going to use that yellow to blend out these edges. I've already, like, took way too high. I couldn't handle my blend. I've took it all off. I've put it back on again, and we're back to the same spot. Let's deepen up this out a bit. So I'm going to go in with, like, a little fluffy I Heart Revolution brush again, I think, from the Christmas gift set. And I think I want to go in with the shade Stranger. Just this one down here because at the moment it looks very like pretty sunsetty vibes which i don't mind obviously it's cute however it's not giving it it's actually applying so nice considering i've already got shadow underneath it which is normally why i start with like my darker shade and undo my eyeshadow because i normally find it's hard to apply to get the depth that i want afterwards if there's already like shadow on there but that's actually going on really nicely i'm just going to kind of like slightly wing it out Do you know, i've just realized in this palette there's actually only one two three four shimmers which is so different for rev normally i'm like i want more mattes there's not enough mattes but there's actually a perfect amount of mattes in here i mean this crave one down here has like a tiny little bit of shimmer in it but it'll be one of them ones where it's kind of to help the blendability of the pigment it won't actually show up so i'm really happy with that obviously just like what i said before i think it would have been nice to have a really glittery red in here so that's all four of the shimmers swatch it's very like a bronzy goldy heavy which is oh no it's my favorite anyway and we have obviously that pink um, sparkly one as well i just don't even know what one to do i'm gonna have to do gold aren't i i was just thinking as well another color that i think is kind of missing i would say i know we do have this matte here which looks like a very very light 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 lilac-y white like definitely it has like a purple tone to it I like we're missing like a solid white so i'm gonna start with come home which was that gold sparkle oh my god literally insane i've totally done this so glam I feel like i need to do some more like halloweeny looks i just need to get through all of the rev stuff that's launched recently and then hopefully i can do some halloween looks as well if there's any time left you can see how like foily that is and then i'm going to go in with circus which is the other foily one that has like more of an orange bronzy tone to it and i'm going to go back in with that stranger shade and add that to the outer corner again and kind of blend that into that bronzier shimmer just to add that depth back in i am actually obsessed with how this is turning out oh my god my greasy hair i can't go so we do have obviously the two eyeliners i'm so scared about this and these oh my god it's a brush eyeliner which is what i am the most rubbish with <gasps> let's just try it let's be brave i try and do oh my god that's so pigmented yeah i'm just not <laughs> I've got a steady hand so this kind of eyeliner scares me i prefer like felt tip eyeliners instead considering i am not one for them kind of brushes like i am a felt tip kind of um brush gal when it comes to liner i've actually done really well with that 
and I like how black it is compared to felt tip ones. I feel like felt tip ones don't have that glossy blackness um, as much. Sometimes they're a little bit more like, I don't know, like run out. Oh my god, my hair's really annoying me how greasy it looks. <laughs> it's not gonna be sick. It's because it needs to be literally killed with some bleach. I've not had it. Um, my highlights done for ages, like really, really overdue. Yeah, that is what the eyeliner looks like. I was gonna go in with the red and do another line, but because of my hooded eyes, like you literally won't even see it, it'll just look daft. So I'm not gonna do it, but I'll do a little swatch of the red just so you can see what kind of colour it is. You can see it there, just like that was just like literally like one little swipe of a swatch. Let me do another one. And there's just a slightly Bigger swatch. Obviously, you can use this for whatever, whether you want to do like the clown lines with it or you want to do an eyeliner with it. But let me put on my base. I'll try the sponge and I'll come back, let you know my thoughts, and then we will try the lip stain. So, I put my oh my god, <laughs> can I get my chair right? I put my base makeup on. I actually really love how my base has turned out. Looks so nice. I've actually got on the Benefit Butterfly Decor Blusher and it's actually really cute. And I've got my P. Louise Gold Highlighter on that I've been obsessed with recently. My lashes have gone insane, especially my lower ones. I've used the Revolution Pro High Flyer, but because some of the eyeliner got onto my lashes a little bit, even though I tried to wipe it off, it like weirdly made my lashes go better. I don't know, I don't know how it's happened. I don't know myself. <laughs> really don't know, but very very happy with it so the last thing that we have to test is the lip stain i've literally just been talking to alex so i've just been and had my tea before um coming back to film we've literally done the same eye look, eye look practically it's it's it is really weird how we are like the same person it's crazy i'm just gonna shake it up i don't know if you meant to <laughs> but i'm gonna doesn't that's like a s slight smell nothing crazy and let's just put this on by itself to begin with so we can see how pigmented it is this is the thing of lip stains for me they always go really dark where my lip is more like dry i think if you've got dry patches it's not going to be the best one because it obviously sticks to them however like i said last year when they brought out some different lip stains for me i would never wear a lip stain like this i just wouldn't i'd always go in with like a lipstick so what I would say is to go in with like a lip stain build up the colour so obviously let it dry put another layer on let it dry and then if you're going to do a red lip for Halloween obviously you can put your lipstick on and as your lipstick comes off you've still got that colour underneath so I've just popped on a red lip I've literally put on the P. Louise lip liner in the shade so dramatic and then I put a little bit of this one yes Lizzie if you're watching this, I will do a video of me swatching these on my lips because she's honestly going to kill me. Like, I feel like she's going to end our friendship if I don't do this video. But I'm going to have to do it on TikTok or YouTube shorts, mate, because I can't do another YouTube video. I just can't. And next time when I do a lip video, I will never ever swatch it on my hand again. I promise. <laughs> It'll be on my lips. But I put a little bit of the CEO Brick Red from the Lip Alert lipsticks from Revolution. Oh my God, best lipsticks ever. You need to go buy them. And I was like, I was a little bit dark so then I put a little bit of the vibe red on and just did like a little concoction on my lips and yeah this is what it looks like the lipsticks are honestly like gorgeous oh absolutely gorgeous the best lipsticks that Revolution have ever 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 brought out would really recommend them and I think they are $5.99 if I don't remember the right thing and obviously because we have that lip stain underneath once it comes off you will still have like a little bit of colour um, underneath as well but for me I'm just a lipstick or pig galley I think it would have to take an amazing formula of like a lip tint or a lip stain to really like make me want to try and use them but this is my finished look for it so it just shows just because it is a Halloween collection you can still go glam obviously there is colours in this palette for you to be able to go a bit more grungy you can do whatever you want with this you could literally go for the more grungier tones and completely avoid like the orange and the warmth we have like obviously the black up here as well so you could go really really grungy like dark dark Halloween vibes of it too I actually really, really like this palette. I love how compact it is. I love that it's not super, super bulky. I know this packaging annoys some people. Some people love it. I personally absolutely love this. And if you do want me to do some like Halloweeny looks, please leave some comments below and let me know what Halloweeny looks do because I'm probably going to have a few slots 
that I can do because I have still so many so many videos to do for you. We still have like Emily in Paris, we still have Twisted Fantasy, we have Willy Wonka, we have the Willy Wonka advent calendar, we've got the Gingy advent calendars, we've got the Wizard of Oz gift sets. We've still got loads and loads to get through. Yeah, I will just try and do as much as possible. And I'll hopefully see you in another video very, very soon. Um, I'm gonna try and go back to my Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays uploads, but if I do have any bonus videos that I can get up without stressing myself out, then I will definitely do that. Don't forget to go check out Alex's video. I'll leave it linked down below because even though our looks might be similar, her thoughts on this collection could be totally different. I know she's really into like Halloween -y films and stuff as well, and she's really into it. So she might have a totally different reaction to this compared to me, but I'll hopefully see you in another video very very soon go check out my channel because i've uploaded so many videos recently and i'll see you in my next one love you so much thank you so much bye bitches